This was the first video of Chadondo East MP Robert Chagulanyi, popularly known as Bobby Wayne since his arrest a week ago in Arua. The video was released by Defense and Army spokesperson Brigadier Richard Kalimide. Deputy Speaker of Parliament Jacob Oranya, who was shown in the short video, visited the MP in March in the barracks where he is detained. The Deputy Speaker later told journalists that he noticed that the MP was in a lot of pain and condemned whoever caused him the pain allegedly through torture. He was able to come and sit with me around the table. His breakfast was also brought and we talked, we joked, we were laughing, but he's in a lot of pain. After much India, Deputy Speaker Olenya visited Mtien Alomeka Francis Zake, who is bedridden at Rubaga Hospital. <laughs> Zake, who spoke with difficulty, broke down as he narrated the events after his arrest, transferred to Kampala from Arua, where he was arrested, admission to hospital, and his current health status. <laughs> The deputy speaker condemned the acts of torture, saying the events in Arua could have been avoided. This situation should not have happened. Never should it have happened. It's really sad. It is something we need to sit back, reflect deeply upon. Because this country is enough for all of us. And we all have a role to play. And we can all play our respective roles without any interference. He expressed worry that reports of torture were on the rise in Uganda and asked those responsible for it to stop. The extent to which violence is escalating in this country is worrying. And we should all get concerned. Because if a by-election can cause this amount of tension, this amount of violence, you in fear of any other election coming up in this country. Binobiso. Kampala Central MP Mohamed Nsereko, Rubaga North MP Moses Kasimante, and Kalungu West MP Joseph Sawungu, who were with the Deputy Speaker, also condemned torture. The Committee on Defense and Human Rights must take interest in calling upon the Army Commander, calling upon the IGP and the Commander of SFC to provide us the list of all those soldiers who were deployed that day. It's collusion and connivance. If these people lose their lives, it can be clear who caused all this mayhem to this country. We can tell you that government should take it upon itself to understand that these people are people's representatives and are lying here in such a miserable state. Ivan Chimuchiguzi, NTV.